Second May 2014, 12.20 p.m. Okay, this Jack Russell had the white gums and white gums and Kaohsiung uh, Taiba. The temperature is 39.0 and uh, there's no fever, there's no fever but uh, the smear shows that the smear shows that he's got this baby seal this from the lab and uh, this blood smear which I will give the donor shows the uh, of course you look under the microscope it shows the parasites in the red blood cells so so the diagnosis is babesiosis uh, and also e canis uh, this one has got two two uh, types of uh, infections in the red re blood cell so there's an injection there's an injection called evidox which is given which is given uh, two days out yesterday and today and this imidox is the one which uh, will be against the uh, baby seal. Uh, so I will give another one. And uh, the Thai you says, the dog e eating better, right? Yeah. Yesterday, given yes. one. Huh? And uh, so, of course, the drips, the amino acid. Now we can see it's a very beautiful dog. You can see the gums are huh? still white, but it's a bit of pink. A bit of pink. Yesterday was very white. I think you saw your, your video yesterday, and uh, that's why I suspected it was tick fever. Although the owner says he never had one tick in his life, uh, never had one tick. But uh, sometimes the tick bites already drop off, and uh, so it, you only need one infected tick. Uh. You just need one infected tick, like dengue fever. You just need one mosquito, one infected mosquito, to cause this problem. You see, so. So I'm surprised that uh, this dog never had tick in Singapore because all Singapore dogs have ticks, huh? especially when they go downstairs or they go somewhere. You can see it's very white, but not very white. There's some pink. Huh? So we will continue to give the drip again one more time, and then uh, the antibiotics, doxycycline, and uh, and this injection, and uh, we will wait and see. It takes time to recover. If it continues to be white, then of course blood transfusion is, is needed. If not, then uh, we will go from here day by day. I suppose to rest, cannot even walk much. Uh, just rest. You can't pain, you can't pain. You can't pain. The urine, what color? The color. Um, brownish, right? Um, you reddish brown. Okay, and then the top pain, normal. No, no. No, no. No, so this one will be made your hand fit it now. Hand fit, not force fit. Mm. And then uh, let him recover. Because appetite not appetite because of this uh, uh, illness uh, affecting the red blood cells. So uh, it's very surprising because if you if you take the owner's history that they never had ticks in his life, then you won't do the the blood smear. And if you don't do the blood smear then you won't get the diagnosis. Uh. So it's good that uh, you cannot take the owner's word for it, but sometimes the owners don't know, you see, the tick bites. Uh, it doesn't mean that you might have a lot of ticks, then you get tick fever. Some dogs have thousands of ticks, but no tick fever. Some dogs, have, like this dog, doesn't seem to have uh, one tick, and yet he got this infection. But tick fever doesn't mean that uh, the dog was having ticks recently, it can be one year ago. Chen and you, you ticks, huh? It, it can be some time ago, then when the dog's resistance is poor, the baby seals comes in. So, this is a very uh, unusual case, because uh, last time I had one case, the same same uh, thing, uh, they, they say don't have ticks, but actually they have uh, tick fever, the parasites in the, in the red blood cells. So, we will give the trip again, the amino acids, Vitamins and then I did give an iron injection with then the imidox, imidox injection and then uh, the home can rest. Okay, that's it.